What's up guys, Turner from HeyDon'tShoot.com and welcome to Focus on Film. Today I'm going to ride to Lake Lure, North Carolina, which is about 30 minutes from where I live and I'm going to shoot some film. I'm going to be shooting some Ilford Pan F50 for my landscapes on my Hasselblad 501C and I also picked up a pack of Fuji FP100C for 35 bucks now, which sucks because that is my favorite that's actually one of my favorite films. Um, it's the Peel Apart film. Uh, Fuji has just discontinued some months back, which I was super disappointed. Shelled out $35 for my love of it, and I'm gonna throw it into my Polaroid camera, and we're gonna shoot that as well. So, hope you enjoy. We're here to the first spot. I'm gonna show you my gear now, what I bring along on my shoot. Um, keep in mind, there's a little bit extra because I'm here filming for this episode. I'll show you exactly what's in my bag, uh, what I take on my shoots. I usually leave everything inside of it from last time. I'll clean my gear, of course, take out my film to be developed and all that. But for the most part, everything stays in there that needs to stay in there. And yeah, it's a raw look into my bag. Let's check it out. All right, so I brought everything back here for video purposes, but here is my main bag right here for shooting landscapes it is a low pro 450 something who cares I'll throw a link in the description if you like it you can check it out for yourself but first I got my Hasselblad 501c I've already loaded up my Ilford Pan F plus in it so you're not gonna see me load this camera um, we've already got a video on that so I'll throw a link in the description for that as well so what else do I got I've got my Nikon F3T, the titanium version, which is sick for landscapes because it's weather sealed. It's got the 60 millimeter F2.8D micro lens. I love this lens. I can shoot macro, I can shoot beautiful portraits. It's amazing. I got my Geotos Rocket Air to get dust off of my lens and filters. I have this little Adorama filter bag for my various color filters. I've got a couple red filters, pop red, cock and red filter I use for darkening the skies, um, and a couple other ones I got for free while I was in Korea from a buddy. A pink and a sky blue. I don't really use those that much, but they're in there. And I've got my, one of my most important tools right here, my Siconic Lightmaster Pro L478D. This is my light meter. And it's got the spot meter attachment on it, which runs you about $100. And the light meter itself runs you about $450, I believe. Here is the incandescent for it. Uh, another focusing screen. I have two focusing screens for my Hasselblad, a split image one and the regular one that comes with it. I've got a couple extra rolls of film. I don't probably plan on shooting these, but I've got a color roll. It's expired back in 2014, a Portra 160 and another roll of Ilford Pan F. I've also got my 28 millimeter F2.8 um, Nikon lens for a little wide angle action. I always bring my Instax Wide 300. I love this little camera. Um, this is mostly for documenting me and my girlfriend. Actually here, here's one right here. I got shot in Mount Mitchell not too long ago. Got, of course, my cable release. And here are my graduated filters. These are graduated hard filters. Hard edge, not soft edge. Um, one stop, two stop, and three stop. I'm not gonna take those out. Oh, I dropped it. That'd have been bad. I've actually done that. And here is my big stopper. If you watched any of our other videos from back in Korea, you see that I use the big stopper a lot okay so it comes in this little pouch right here and I've got the my my holder with the Bay 60 adapter for the Hasselblad lenses oh got my see told you this is raw here's my my digital um, 
cable release for my infrared camera. So yes, I lied. I did not completely go to film. I still have an infrared converted Nikon D70. All right, so up here in these upper compartments, I've got a microfiber cloth that comes in this really cool little, looks like a lens, pretty sweet. Some ROR for cleaning really nasty lens. Uh, I've got another microfiber cloth in a bag to keep it clean. Got one for, this was when I shot digital, um, cleaning the screen and whatnot. A lens pin. So this up here is my little cleaning department. Put all that back in there. Uh, there's nothing else in here, I don't think. Maybe some random stuff. Oh, for the rapid strap, a little hook. Let's see down here. Anything down here? Oh, a little tool. Hex key. That's all, it's in my low pro bag for shooting landscapes. Hopefully you can see me. I'm sitting on a rail right now. All right, first I'm gonna grab my camera, of course. I've already seen what I wanted to shoot. Lock that into place. I just turned around. Now, with the Hasselblad and many of my other medium format cameras, I have to bring down the tripod a little bit to be able to see through the viewfinder. And that's the same as if I had the waist level viewfinder on there as well. I had a Mimiya C330 and I used to have to bring that tripod down pretty low to look down that camera. I'm gonna position my camera, which sucks right here because there's a tree. Top of a tree right in the front of me. I think I'm gonna have to move over to the right, which means I'm gonna have to move you, so. Let's get this composition. There we go. Now the tree is out of my way. It does not look pleasing in the frame. So, I'm walking to affinity. The view is just great. What I'm about to do, is on top of that mountain right there, it is really, really bright, harsh sun coming in. It's not really that great time of day to be shooting, but I have to shoot with what I got. But that is what filters are for. So I'm gonna grab my filters and throw them on this bad boy. Oh, isn't she a beaut? Look at that. Medium format, six by six beaut. Here, grab my filters. Don't need you, big stop. But we do need what's inside. Right. My graduated filters and ring adapter. Let's see if I can put this on here. We're holding the camera. All right, it's locked in. Now with this this adapter, you see how it doesn't click and lock, which is really annoying. But it seals well. I've used the Big Stopper many of times on the Hasselblad, and it is sealed and there's been no leaks into the photos, no light streaks, so that is good. All right, so we've got the filter holder on there. Put my cable release on. If you have a Hasselblad or any other medium format cameras, or any camera really, be careful screwing that in because if you push a little too hard, you'll take a shot. So make sure you have your dark slide in or a lock in place. So you don't do that. I'm gonna put a red filter on there. The Kocken Z663 Super Cool. I made sure everything was clean ahead of time. No dust on it before I go out, which is a must. But it still gets a little bit of dust on it. I don't really want dust in my images because you already get enough dust on your negatives all right got the whole lens covered put that up it's convenience of being able to pull off the side of the road and shoot i have everything in my trunk i'm gonna look at my composition one more time now it's really dark looking through it especially with this cheaper 
focusing screen. We get everything locked up. Boom. Now I already know that I'm going to shoot this at F11. That's the sweet spot right there for, for me. I'll go ahead and power on my light meter and get an average exposure of the sky in the foreground. And we're going to go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to F11 and ISO 50. And we're going to clear. I've got stuff in the memory bank, so I'm going to clear it. I'm going to shoot at the brightest part of the sky. Hit memory, save it, and I'm gonna hit the darkest spot of my scene. Now, I get the composition first, so I can do exactly this. I know exactly what's in my frame, I know what's the lightest part, and I know what the darkest part is. And I'm gonna hit another one in the middle. Save that. Press average, and it's saying 60th of a second. Now, I've put, in, I've put that filter on there, which is gonna affect my exposure from you know shooting without it, so. At 60 of a second, I like things to be a little bit darker anyways. So I'm gonna keep it at 60 of a second. I'm not gonna adjust for the filter at all. And I'm gonna see what that yields. I'm gonna set it on my lens. All right. Take out my dark slide. I'm gonna do mirror up. I'm gonna wait. Let everything settle on the tripod from the shape. Get the clearest image possible. It. All right, let's move to another location. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this up, head home, develop my film so I can put them in this video. I uh, hope you liked uh, seeing me drive up here to Lake Lure and shoot some film with the Polaroid and the Hasselblad. If you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, if you didn't, hit the dislike button. But be sure to share and subscribe to Hey Don't Shoot and stay tuned for more episodes of Focus on Film. And also, be sure to check out Felix's episodes, Gearheads Are People Too. All right, it's been fun, been real. Peace.